and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some more Jeskai Hero. It's one of our most popular decks for us to play. Uh, we didn't do so well the last time that we played it, just a couple of days ago, as y'all know, but we're running it back. We're going to um, have a lot better league here, hopefully. We just ran into some, to some really bad mana trouble. So we've played it three times. We've done... Um, uh, we went like 5-0, 5-1, and, you know, so real good there, but then we went 0-2 last time with the mana troubles. That happens, though, with the... Um, with just a short sample size. So we're going to be playing it through another league again today. Uh, we got another donation to play it again. So we're going to be uh, we're going to be playing until we get five wins or two losses, whichever happens first, as you all know. The goal of the deck is just is to be um, aggressive. Like, this is kind of like what aggro is. We're, we're being aggressive, but yet we still have some disrupt disruptive elements in the deck as well. We got our History of Benalia and Heroic Reinforcements combo, <clears throat> which is really strong, which is really what the deck is is built around. You know, it's called Hero, because, you know, Hero's our turn two play that can make a good amount of creatures, which is what we want. But then we also have History of Benalia, Heroic Reinforcements, that can just add up to a lot of damage. All right, so we've talked about the deck a lot previously as well. Let's go ahead and just get to the games, Let's see how we do. And let's let's get some W's. Let's get some W's. Here we go. The decks looked looked really good at times. Like you know, surprise surprising our opponents with lethal with heroic reinforcements. Gotta miss that card. That's a that's a really well designed magic card. Talked about that. Hasn't seen as much play. Do I think Mardu Hero could be good? So Mardu has really good three mana. Like, Mardu has good two and three drops to go along with Hero. Like, you got Dreadhorde Butcher, you got Tajik, you got um, Judith. Those cards are very good. And so, like, whenever you get to curve out with them and whenever you get to be ahead, they, you know, they're, they're very good at uh, finishing games off and everything like that. You even have Heroic Reinforcements, too. I guess that's the thing about Mardu Hero, is I think Mardu Hero would have to be a Heroic Reinforcements deck. I think I've, I've tried, like, her... So, basically, what I was going to say is I've tried, like, Mardu Hero before, um, where I'm not really playing Heroic Reinforcements. And I think that that wasn't... Um, that didn't have enough, like, firepower in the late game. And... It, enough ways to really close out the game and really enough good enough interaction but yeah I think Mardu, Mardu Hero has potential if, if built similar to this where um, where you kind of rely on heroic reinforcements Because as you can see here, Heroic Reinforcements is ridiculous. <laughs> oh, look at this curve. Hero, Tajik, and then Reinforcements. Even with the double chump lock, they're down to five. That is just our, our dream at two, three, four right there. That's a nice, easy win right there. Okay, so mono black with a couple of Urox Fen Lurkers. May not need to do very much here. I think that Gideon is probably going to be a better card than Deputy of Detention against the mono black deck. I think the thing I would be most scared of. is the Black Cavalier. I have a great answer for Black Cavalier. I guess I have Teferi. Teferi is just a good answer to everything. Let's just do this. We'll keep one deputy in here. Oh, that's a good call. They could they could have 
Um, what's up, Storm? They could have Cry the Carnarium, Ritual of Soot, that kind of stuff. <laughs> yeah. It is difficult to sideboard whenever you win on turn four. Your opponent has a lot better idea sometimes. Yeah, Ponage Factory. We got to finish that one off there with the Gruel Guardian deck. It was really sweet. Perfect. Yay. No Legion's End. At least I'm assuming no Legion's End. Yep. Good. No Legion's End. I think we called for a hero. Like, looks like we got a hero. Got nothing else to do. Well, now we, all right. Now we're gonna have our one ones that are gonna be able to chump block the Knight of the Ebon Legion for us. So looking good. <laughs> I didn't name it Gruel Fight Me. I think I, I named it uh, the Gold Forge Garrison is too strong! Exclamation point. <laughs> this is the hero we drew, not the hero we need. No, this is... no, that's the hero we need, and are lucky to get. Not playing around a sweeper. I'm thinking they're dead. No sweepers. There we go. No fear. No fear whenever we have heroic reinforcements. <laughs> Come on, Eldest Reborn. <laughs> Yeah, and whenever we have heroic reinforcements in our deck that we can always draw, don't need to have any fear. Okay. No hero. Still keep it. Ooh, what's this improbable alliance? Blue and a red enchantment. Whenever you draw your second card for each turn, you make a 1 1 fairy. Leading, of course, to Sulphur Falls because then if we draw a blue or a red untapped land, we get to Stormkin. Yeah, we have gone. We are. We have been playing uh, Jeskai Gates Hero, Hero Gates here today. At least we could have been playing the blue red and the red white Scry lands. At least we could have got some Scrys in here. Hmm. 
Yeah, I probably should play some mono black soon, shouldn't I? It's been a little bit since I played some mono black. But yeah, it's a good call. I need to play some mono black again. Deputy would have been really nice to be able to wait to like get a bunch of zombie tokens with Deputy. Why is that Cavalier of Thorns have reach? Why is that a thing? I have to like one shot my opponent. Doesn't sound very easy to do. Doesn't sound very easy to do at all. Say a bounce Cavalier Thorns. Attack for seven in the air, put them down to 11. The next turn I reinforcements, they block there. Take eight or four, five, six. So five, <clears throat> six, seven. Whoa. I guess they just have to have like Masker Girl, right? This has to be Masker Girl.
Oh, Nexus? Okay, well... All right, well. Definitely thought it was Masker Girl. Which I, I can't beat Masker Girl. All right. So I, I, I wanted to incentivize them not to play it by giving them back your rock. I was hoping that they would not they just wouldn't play it then. Alright, need all these disdainful strokes for your rock and cavalier. Those two cards, especially cavalier. Huge headache. And then uh, Need to keep the flyers. Vanguard only attacks for one in the air, though. This is tough. Honestly, History of Benalia just gets outclassed by just a whole bunch of 2-2 zombies. I'm going to trim that card. Yeah, leaving the one elf back definitely makes it seem like you want the, the one creature to survive to make it so um, you can still have Massacre Girl. Uh, wipe the board because you, you still have a 1-1. One, one. Alright, we, we have a really strong hand here. Hero for us at Aurelia. Aurelia. Very strong start. Hero and for us at of course, are kind of a, a little bit of a non bow. With uh, each token we get with Hero dealing one damage to us. But for someone like ourselves, trying to get as much damage in as possible, it is worth it. That's like our best curve there, Hero, Ferocidon, Aurelia. Now our opponent has like, like they really need to kill Aurelia, but they also really need to kill Ferocidon. Yeah, Aurelia is kind of being held back a little bit by something like Noxious Grass. 
I just didn't play anything. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. Yeah, I guess they just forgot about Teferi. Like, you have to play stuff in response to Teferi. They forgot about not being able to play instants anymore, I suppose. All right, well, that was awesome, awesome hand for us. And just steamrolled there. <laughs> yeah, for us, for is just sneaky good. Just a really good card. Even at the time, you know, before it was banned, it wasn't something that people were like, "This card needs to be banned" or anything like that. It was just, you know, a card that uh, was just really efficient, just really good and efficient. It's kind of like Cavalier of Thorns. And that, you know, like whenever you're, you're talking about the, like an elemental deck, you're always like, ah, Risen Reef, need to ban Risen Reef. But there's also like that Cavalier of Thorns card that's just incredibly good at stopping aggro, which, and giving the Risen Reef deck time. It was kind of like that in, in the red deck, where everybody's focused on Hazaret and Chandra. The mythics, like Risen Reef, the, the mythic that everyone's focused on. Well, I definitely don't like drawing two lands to start with with this hand. We already had a slow hand. Slow ish. All right, Ferocidon's good. I guess Risen Reef's an uncommon because if it was like a mythic rare, it would be so expensive because, you know, it's in so many different decks. I mean, how expensive that card would be if it was like a mythic. I guess they made it uncommon. Like, the reason to make it uncommon versus rare is has got to be limited. So I guess they really wanted it in limited for like a lot of people to be able to draft it. Um frequently, so it's got to be an uncommon because of limited. I'll, I'll, I will admit that Flame Sweep's a little awkward. I will admit that. don't know if I'll be able to make a follow the Thran deck before rotation. So right now, likely not. Ha. No gaining life. Do we have lethal here? Because see, now Flame Sweep's not going to be awkward after our history chapter goes here. Oh, wow. So, like, it kills my these two 1-1s, one but then it kills these things. They can block four, but then, yeah, they take lethal, so... GG's. That was sweet. That worked out really well for us.
I think our opponent liked our deck. Oh, Sky Knight Vanguard, also a knight. So got got pumped by History Banalia. Forgot to mention that. The Flame Sweep wasn't going to kill the Vanguard anyway because it doesn't do damage to our own flyers. But, you know, get that nice little bonus damage in there. Reef and Paper is already worth more than some of the Mythics from the same set from Core 2020. Well, imagine how expensive... Yes, and that means it's an uncommon. Imagine how expensive it would be if it was an actual Mythic. It'd be ridiculous. No, I don't do limited. Just constructed. Yeah, I'm going to miss History of Benalia as well. It's not really... I mean, it has some weaknesses in this format, especially with the, the printing of Legion's End. Really hurt history. And then also Field of the Dead. <laughs> Making a bunch of tutus also hurt history. M20 was not kind. The history there. Okay, so 1G enchant creature, it lose abilities and turn it into a 3 3. And then you also draw a card. There's worse spells than that. Worse spells than that running around. I really want Teferi in play and to be able to like untap and protect Teferi because you know Teferi keeps them from being able to cast their instant speed protection spells. The problem with that though is I don't really have any removal, so even not letting them cast instant speed protection spells doesn't help me if I don't have removal. If I minus, okay, so if I, if I minus on Legionnaire, <clears throat> then I have to chump block with Hero to be able to keep Teferi alive. If I tick up, then I can just chump block Legionnaire, but if they have God's Willing to give it pro white, then I don't get to even reset Legionnaire. I've got time. I think that's the risk I'm willing to take. But I want, so I want this Teferi in play like this because it shuts down Arcanist. You know, you can't, Arcanist can't cast spells with Teferi in play. So that's the, the point of getting Teferi in play here. Yeah, that's a good idea, Matthew. That's a good idea. All right, good. So no... Um, no God's willing to kill the fairy. Do you want me to phase you out of time? We get some more chump blockers now. This next turn.
Here we go. Well, I should attack with hero because I'm not gonna block with hero. I should have attacked with hero. I was just thinking that I don't want to block with Stormkin because I may need to block with Stormkin. I should have got the two points in with hero though. That could be important. I'm planning on double blocking Arcanist with the two twos and having the one one chomp the Legionnaire if they both attack. I wanted to, so I played Stormkin over these things because I didn't want if they have they have God's Willing Pro White. I still wanted to be able to block Legionnaire with God's Willing Pro White. So that's why I played Storm. That's why I really wanted to play Stormkin. And so since I was playing Stormkin, we're playing History also to get that going. Just no blocks at all, huh? Certainly doesn't seem like my opponent has a God's Willing. I am not making this up as I go. Consider bouncing Legionnaire, but I don't want them just be able to shock. Like if they, if they just uh, like if we minus to fairy and they just shock to fairy, then they get to attack with both Arcanists and cast this stuff over here. I don't know. I don't really want that to happen. So. Gets plus one plus one in first strike. First strike. Okay. Well, if we're trying to kill that thing in combat anyway. Yeah, we may have lethal next turn. Untapped land would be really not, would be the best, of course, being able to go vanguard reinforcements. Did you hear that? The the reason why I didn't bounce Legionnaire is so they couldn't shock and kill Teferi. This on my turn I'm gonna be bouncing. Ugh, they did have God's willing. Ugh. It didn't seem like they had God's willing for how they were playing, so that's just game. I think I was gonna have lethal the next turn. Darn it. Well, needed to bounce Legionnaire and reset those counters. The the pump spell with the the plus and then the God's Willing. Got me. Darn. They might have just found out that turn. I don't know. Maybe we didn't need those four points of damage. With the Stormkin. Could have left Stormkin back again.
All right, gonna take out the Sky Knight Vanguard. It does not hit very hard. And replace it with Lava Coils and Dawnbringers. Um, I think that looks good. Basically kind of, not sure if I'm supposed to play Gideon instead of like Response. Maybe, I don't love Response. Maybe not. Maybe I'm supposed to play Response. I'm not sure. I'm not sure with that one. Alright, deck, let's get some lands. Hopefully, Deputy Detention is good. See, if they, like, play a Feather and you Deputy it, and then they play another Feather, then you can just, like, have Teferi bounce your Deputy and then gets rid of that. You know, they have to sacrifice one of their Feathers for good because they're legendary. So I guess opponent probably has shock. We're just stopping like this. Do y'all think I should have mulliganed my hand? I think two land, deputy deputy history to fairy, Lyra is a mulligan. So far, everybody said no. I would have kept as well. Cool, yeah. Like, I, I thought it was a keep. But it did mean that if our first two draw steps were not land, we weren't playing anything. So that is true. Like, yeah, that's a good point. We didn't have any play for two mana. So we, we couldn't actually play anything in our hand without um hey thumb war thanks to the twitch prime sub without drawing a land all right two and one Didn't put up much of a fight there that game, too. All right, we get to cast spells. Leading with Sky Knight Vanguard. Because, you know, the Stormkin has haste anyway. Gets to attack, but we want this thing in play so we can start attacking and turning out 1-1s. One I thought for sure they were going to have a shock without hitting another land drop. They kept a one lander. Real surprise, no shock here.
Yeah, real surprise, no shock here. Tajik was a perfect draw. Now... <clears throat> now they can't shock hero. Because the prevent damage, that should just be game. Okay, so we just played a, a game where we kept a two lander and didn't play any spells, and now my opponent, next game my opponent keeps a one lander, only plays one spell. So we got Flame Sweep and Lyra and Coil. Again, Vanguard's just really small. I know Vanguard itself doesn't die to Flame Sweep, but the one ones it makes does. Yeah, um, other video games I play besides Arena, I have a Switch. And Tajik? And on there, played um, I have a few games. I've played Zelda, uh, Zelda whatever the, the name of the, the Zelda on the Switch is. Breath of the Wild. There you go. Breath of the Wild and Super Mario Odyssey and uh, beat those games. And now I am currently playing Fire Emblem. I'm on my second playthrough of Fire Emblem now. All right, so we're suddenly playing against a Grixis deck. I definitely thought it was like Model Red Cavalcade after just seeing Mountain one drop. Suddenly it's a Planeswalker deck. If only it's Grixis control. What's up, Aduriel? Yeah, that was quite... Quite the sideboard job by my opponent. It's our eighth sub of the day. That three month there. Thank you so much, Aduriel. Yeah, Fire Emblem Three Houses. Yeah, it's a really good game. It's my first Fire Emblem game I've ever played, but it's really good. Oh, they discarded Gleaming Overseer last game? Oh, I, I missed that. Um, I've done, so yeah, I'm on my second playthrough. I've done, I did the Black Eagle House, and now I'm doing the Golden Deer House. No, Brutality? Ugh. Man, I was going to attack for so much damage. I was going to attack for so much damage. Oh, you like Dimitri a lot? I haven't I haven't done Dimitri's. I don't know. He's my he's my least favorite of the three. I'm not I'm like getting close to halfway through the second time. And I I like Claude. 
I've been liking Claude. I, I'm only like halfway through his storyline so far though. Or like, not quite, but close to. Well, still, congratulations on getting getting a switch there, Berioth. Hope you enjoy it. <laughs> What's up, Judge Fudge? Bring in the hype there, the tier three sub again. Thank you so much, there, Judge Fudge. You are amazing. <laughs> My army will envelop this world. Smelly, but okay, didn't want to minus and get rid of both my my people here. All right, I feel like I'm dead. Oh, that, that other zombie has flying, too? Zombie tokens you control have flying. I guess I missed that. Nice. You got three, three houses, Breath of the Wild, and then Astral Chain. I don't know anything about that game. The other two are incredible. My, f my favorite characters, I've, I like uh, Petra, I like Raphael. They're probably my two favorite characters. I've learned much from your death. So far. Um, Casper, Casper is good too. Oh, I do love a good death whale. All their other zombies get plus one, plus one, and have death touch. Opponent's deck's pretty crazy. I could really use a two drop here. Like Sky Knight, Vanguard, or Hero of Precinct 1. I think that could that'll do it. The heroic reinforcements of our heroes.
Hero's coming through clutch. Wow. That Hero Precinct 1 draw, though. GG's. Wow, that was that was the perfect draw step. Hero Precinct 1. And we're 3 and 1. Wow. That game didn't look so good, but I'm telling you when you have heroic reinforcements, anything can happen. Yep, they yep. Could have attacked with one creature, but attacking with the other flyer and just leaving the one flyer back hurt there. Yeah, that was a pretty insane game right there. That was a real good one. Yeah, that was a pretty cool deck our opponent had. Especially when it got going with like Liliana drawing him all those cards and stuff. So we saw like they had a really high curve or just you know like a really expensive curve and everything. I, I don't know why they possibly kept the one lander game one. Like it had to have been a misclick. Like they meant to click Mulligan and then accidentally click, uh, clicked keep. It's the only. Ex exclamation or uh, explanation for that first one. Yeah, Hilda's a Wiven Rider for me as well. Here this time. Stop. We are all connected. Be wary of the ground you walk on. I mean, we need to kill Nyssa. This is the best way to kill Nyssa. It's unfortunate we lose out on so much damage. But Nyssa just has, you know, just a ridiculous amount of loyalty. Basically, just traded our heroic reinforcements. Is like a, all that was was just a four mana removal spell, but then it also got rid of our third chapter of history banalia as well. Yeah, letting them have Nissa. Not something you want to do, and they got Krasis and everything. This Cavalier has certainly been a, a problem. We need another deputy. Another deputy. Deputize it. Okay, we could bounce it. Hmm. 
Mm. I know my responsibility. Don't really love my options here, to be honest. Oh, I already played a land. I don't want to trade Tajik for Hinterland Harbor. Get all those resin reefs in your graveyard. I don't want you drawing those. Yeah, I didn't have it quite enough to be able to go bounce, have Teferi bounce deputy, take the, the cavalier, and then attack Nissa and kill Nissa. If I would have had a, enough to be able to play Tajik as well, I could have could have done that. Let us see but I didn't have enough to play Tajik as well. Follow the tracks of the wise. Trust me, I have a plan. Oh, this is over. How are we supposed to play a 4-5 flyer when there's just a 5-6 reach creature that ramps you? For the same mana cost. Cavalier Thorns is so busted. All right, good old Ferocidon Disdainful Stroke combo. Yeah, Gruel Guardian worked really well. Yeah, it played it played well and everything, and uh, it was a it was a good deck. Just had a bigger creatures than what our opponents were playing, and hit hard, and punt, our opponents couldn't handle it. Yeah, and we got to attack with defenders. So that was awesome. Okay, let's see. All right, take out the vanguards, again, because they just don't hit very hard. Let's give this a try. <laughs> yeah, because Il we had Ilharg put in, Ilharg can put in defenders attacking. So yeah, we got to put in um, our Golden Guardian. All right, well, Hero, of course, is our best two drop. Heroic Reinforcements is one of our strongest cards. So we need a little help here, but we have two incredibly good cards. 
So we're going to keep it. So we need blue mana. Or Heroic Re Or History of Benalia. Attack our opponent for a lot of damage here. We're gonna take a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. I don't know how much it is, but it's a lot. Fifteen. All right, only twelve. Then we got the third chapter of history coming next turn with Stormkin. The past is never forgotten. They have one blocker. I mean, I guess they could play a land war elf here as well. All right, can we be on the play again and just have hero history heroic and be on the play again, please? Thank you. Because, yeah, they had turn four Cavalier Thorns there, but they're already dead. They had turn two Risen Reef, turn three Tamiyo, turn four Cavalier Thorns, and they were dead. All right, come on, deck, let's get a land. Get a blue or a red land. Let me play the Stormkin up next. No. Come on, don't do this to us again. Oh, come on. Twice? Twice? That's how we lost the other match. Yeah, now you have Cavalier Thorns. I So, if we would have hit the land drop, I was playing Deputy and taking the two land war elves. That's what I was going to be doing there. And yeah, they, they had no lands. They didn't have a land drop. Wow. All right, so Cavalier Thorns is really difficult. It's not really. I mean, it's difficult for us to beat. It's a, it's a really good card. But we have to go wide. That's, that's what our deck has to do. But yeah, that's that's two uh, two matches where. You know, keep that two lander like that. I I still I think that's a keep. You know, like two lands Stormkin. Even though the two lands didn't cast Stormkin, but Stormkin, Deputy, Teferi, Tajik, Reinforcements. Definitely think that's a key, but... Oh well, that's how magic go. Um, but yeah, we got to see how powerful this deck can be sometimes, you know. That, that game right before that, going hero into history into reinforcements, that is a crazy curve that uh just uh that just wins games so 
Yeah, I think I may take a look at changing. So yeah, like this. So we we played the yeah. So we played the same list a couple of times. I think I may update it tomorrow. I'm gonna I'm gonna take some time to kind of really look at it. I don't like these Sky Knight vanguards. Um, that's one thing I really don't like. But I know like the other two drops aren't spectacular. I don't know. I'm. I think I'm. I'm gonna take a look at at maybe updating this because yeah, we're gonna be playing again, um, the next few days, here also. Um, <clears throat> so I'm gonna see if if we can, up upgrade. If there's any upgrades we can do. <laughs> we need more defenders that are attacking. Um. So yeah, we'll we'll see what we can what we can upgrade here. But like the core of the deck is really nice there. Uh, but maybe we can get some clean up the edges a little bit, to say it that way. All right, so that's Jeskai Hero. So if you're watching on YouTube, of course, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons over there. Um, and uh, feel free to leave some comments. Let me know how you would uh, <clears throat> kind of clean up the edges as we talked about there. Anything that you would change with the deck. But uh, there we go. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.